Aisha al Bengeji is the mother of Haikal Twiti, a Tunisian man who was arrested and jailed in Syria in 2012, along with 42 others. The group was accused of attempting to join ISIL. My son was unconscious of the danger of entering illegally into Syria. He thought that he could go to the conflict zones for humanitarian reasons. My son was a moderate Muslim and not a religious fanatic or a terrorist. In March 2012, some parents traveled to Beirut. They were authorized by the Syrian government to cross the Lebanese-Syrian border. The mothers and fathers met their sons at a prison in Damascus. Six years ago, my son and many of the prisoners were in good health. I don't know why successive governments did not help them. The Syrian president granted general amnesty for the 43 Tunisians. Over the past four years, the Rescue Association for Tunisians Trapped Abroad has organized dozens of sit-ins near the Foreign Affairs Ministry and Parliament to call for the extradition of Tunisians from Syria. Activists maintain that Tunisian authorities were unresponsive. There were no official channels between the two states. The authorities did not view the extradition of Tunisian prisoners as a priority. Following the 2011 unrest, thousands of mosques were controlled by radical preachers who encouraged youths to join ISIL terror network. In the past six years, at least 3,000 Tunisians aged between 16 and 40 have joined ISIL Daesh, a terrorist group in Syria and Iraq. If prisoners are extradited, they will be tried and held to account for their crimes. Security analysts argue that the extradition of Tunisians from Syria will give the state more clues on how they were brainwashed and recruited by terror networks. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN. Tunis.